Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on graphing inequalities. Now before we look at the graph part of this tutorial, let's recap on what an inequality is. Well, in mathematics, an inequality is a statement of an order relationship between two numbers or algebraic expressions. We use this symbol to represent greater than. We use this symbol to represent greater than or equal to. We use this symbol to represent less than and we use this symbol to represent less than or equal to. So now we have the basics of our symbols. Let's have a look at our graphs. So let's start with x equals 5 to begin with. Well, graphically, x equals 5 means wherever you go on this line, x is always 5. For example, at this point here, x is 5, y is 1. At this point here, x is 5, y is 5. At this point here, x is 5 and y is 6.5. Wherever you go on this line, x is always 5. Now let's have a look at the graphical representation of x is greater than or equal to 5. Well, we know it does equal 5 because it's stated in the inequality. But we're also including x values which are greater than 5. So we show this graphically using a solid line to say we include 5 and the shaded region identifies all the values of x which are greater than 5. A nice little hint when looking at x is to draw a vertical line. Now let's have a look at y. Starting with y equals 2, let's have a look at this graphically. Here you can see wherever you go on the line, y is always 2. For example, when x is 2, y is 2. When x is 5, y is 2. When x is 7, y is 2. Wherever you go on this line, y is always 2. So let's now look at the inequality, y is less than 2. Well, this does not include the 2, so we must use a dotted line. We want all the values which are less than 2, so therefore I shade the region which is below the dotted line, as this illustrates all the y values which are less than 2. A nice little hint when looking at the y is to look for a horizontal line. So let's have a look at this question to see if you can match up the inequalities with the correct graph. Just so you know, on the axes, one square is one unit. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. So let's look at x is less than 4. Well, we know it's going to be a dotted line, and we also know it's going to be a vertical line, where the x values shaded are less than 4. So therefore, it must be this graph. y is greater than or equal to 4. Well, we know it's a solid line, and it must be horizontal. And we're looking for the shaded region, which is above that solid line. So it must be this graph. Lastly, 2y is greater than or equal to 4. It's much easier for us to write using y, so I'm going to divide everything by 2 to give me y is greater than or equal to 2. From here, I know it's going to be a solid horizontal line where all the y values are greater than 2, so it must be this graph. So now let's have a look at a harder question. On the grid below, we need to show by shading the region defined by the following inequalities x plus y must be less than 6, x must be greater than 1, and y must be greater than 2. We need to identify this region with the letter R. So let's start with the easiest inequalities first. I'm going to start with x must be greater than 1. Now, if x is greater than 1, then we know it's got to be a vertical dotted line. So I'm going to draw my dotted line where x is 1, and then I'm going to highlight the region of all my x values which are greater than 1. Next, let's do the next easier inequality where y is greater than 2. Well, I know it's going to be a dotted horizontal line at y is 2. So, drawing this in, you can see I've got this region of y values which are greater than 2. So, the region which satisfies both of these inequalities so far is where I've double shaded. So now let's have a look at x plus y is less than 6. This is a little bit harder than a horizontal or vertical line. 
So I'm going to draw the equation x plus y equals 6 first, and then I can identify the region where x plus y is less than 6. So to do this, I'm drawing a table, and I'm just randomly picking some x values, 0, 1, 2, and 3. Now I'm going to draw x plus y is equal 6. So when x is 0, y must be 6. When x is 1, y must be 5. When x is 2, y must be 4. And when x is 3, y must be 3. Plotting these points, I have this line. However, notice I've now made it dotted. The reason why I've made it dotted is because it's an inequality which has to be less than 6. Now, when it says less than 6, we're basically looking at the region which is below this line. So I'm going to highlight the region which is below the line, and this region represents x plus y is less than 6. You'll notice I have a region which satisfies x is greater than 1, a region which satisfies y is greater than 2, and also a region which satisfies x plus y is less than 6. And this region is labelled as R, as this is where the three shaded areas overlap. Now I'm simply going to rub out the rest of the shadings which I don't need, giving me the correct region R. So let's have a look at another question. Here the question shows a grid, and we're asked to draw the graph of y equals minus 2x plus 4 for the values of x from minus 1 to 5. The second part of the question wants us to show by shading on the grid the region defined by all three of the inequalities, where y is less than or equal to minus 2x plus 4, y is greater than or equal to minus 4, and x is greater than or equal to 1. We're also asked to label our region R. See if we can give it a go, and remember, part A is there to help you with part B. So let's start with a table. Well, I'm just going to choose 0, 1, 2, and 3, but I'm going to make sure when I draw my line, it does go from the x values of minus 1 to 5. Well, using the equation y equals minus 2x plus 4, I'm going to substitute x is 0. So minus 2 times 0 add 4 gives me a y coordinate of 4. Now I'm going to substitute my x coordinate as 1. Well, that's minus 2 times 1 at the 4, which gives me 2. Now I'm going to substitute my x coordinate as 2 to give me minus 2 times 2 at 4, which is 0. And lastly, I'm going to substitute my x coordinate as 3 to give me minus 2 times the 3 at the 4, which is minus 2. From here, I can draw my straight line to be here. Now, Let's see if we can identify the correct regions identified by these inequalities. Part A is a huge help because part B wants us to identify when y is less than or equal to minus 2x plus 4. I'm going to use a solid line because it is equal to it and I'm interested in the region which is below the line because I'm looking at less than. So highlighting this region, you can see this is the region where y is less than the minus 2x plus 4. Now let's look at y is greater than or equal to minus 4. Well, we know it's a horizontal line which is solid at minus 4, and we're interested when it's greater than minus 4. So here's my region. Lastly, let's have a look when x is greater than or equal to 1. Well, we know that it's a solid line and it's vertical at the 1. And we know we need our x values which are greater than 1. So you can see the three regions which overlap, which give us our region R. Rubbing out the regions I don't really need, this gives me my final answer, which I've labelled as R. Let's have a look at another question. Here we're given a grid and asked to shade the region that satisfies these inequalities x plus y is less than 4, y is greater than x minus 1, and y is less than 3x. 
we're asked to label the region R. See if you can give it a go and press pause if you need. Draw a table if it helps too. So I'm going to start with x plus y is less than 4. Well, to do this, I'm going to look at the equation x plus y is equal to 4 and identify this on a table. Well, when x is 0, that means y must be 4. When x is 1, that means y must be 3. When x is 2, that must mean y is 2. And when x is 3, that must mean y is 1. Plotting this on our graph, I'm using a dotted line now because the inequality states it's less than. Now, because I want x plus y is less than 4, I only want the region which is below the line because it's less than. Now let's have a look at y is greater than x minus 1. Drawing a table again, I'm going to look at the equation y equals x minus 1. Well, when x is 0, minus 1 gives me minus 1. When x is 1, subtract the 1 gives me 0. When x is 2, subtract the 1 gives me 1. When x is 3, subtract the 1 gives me 2. Now plotting this, I'm going to use a dotted line because the inequality is greater than. Now, because y is greater than x minus 1, that means it's got to be above the line because the inequality is telling me it must be above. So this is the region I'm looking at now. Next, y is less than 3x. Well, same as before, I'm going to draw a table. From the table, I'm going to substitute. When x is 0, that means y must be 0. When x is 1, y is 3. When x is 2, y is 6. And when x is 3, y is 9. Plotting this, you can see I'm going to use a dotted line because it's the inequality is less than. Now, because it's less than, I'm interested in being below the line. As you can see, I've got a region which satisfies all three shadings. So, this means this is my region R, as this is the area which satisfies all of my inequalities. Now, let's have a look at a slightly different question where we're given equations on a line on a grid already. The lines y equals x minus 2 and x plus y equals 10 are already drawn on the grid. On the grid, mark with a cross each of the integer, whole number, coordinates that are in the region defined by y is greater than x minus 2, x plus y is less than 10, and x is greater than 3. Well, let's start with y is greater than x minus 2. The line of y equals x minus 2 is already done, but I'm going to make the line dotted because the inequality states that it's greater than and not greater than or equal to, so I know it's dotted. Now from here, it's y is greater than x minus 2, so that means I'm interested in the region above the line. Now, x plus y is less than 10. If this is x plus y is equal to 10, then I want it less than 10 so I know it's dotted. When it's less than 10, I'm interested in the region below the line. Finally, x is greater than 3. So from here, we know it's dotted at x is 3, and it's got to be greater than the 3. So you'll notice we've identified a region which satisfies all the inequalities. But... The question wants us to identify the integers which satisfy all three inequalities. So, rubbing out what I don't need, you can see this is the region I'm looking at. I'm only interested in the integer coordinates. So, my integer coordinates is here, 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 and here. I do not include the coordinates which are on these lines as these lines are dotted lines and do not include the values. It's clear to see the coordinates are 4, 3, 4, 4, 4, 5 and 5, 4. Now let's have a look at our last question which is very different. Here we're asked to write down the three inequalities that define the shaded region. 
So let's identify the equation of our straight lines first. To do this, we simply pull out information from each line. I'm going to start with this line. I'm going to draw a table and extract coordinates from our straight line. Well, you can see I've got the coordinate 2, 2, which lies on the line. I've also got the coordinate 0, 0, which lies on the line. And I've also got the coordinate of minus 2, minus 2, that lies on the line. Here, it's very clear to see that this is the equation y is equal to x. But you can also see that the shaded region is above the line. So therefore, we know y must be greater than or equal to x because it's above the line and the line is solid. So let's have a look at our next line. Here you can see I've emphasized it as being orange and it goes through y is equal to minus 2. Therefore, because the shaded region is above the line, y has got to be greater than or equal to minus 2 because it's above the line and it's solid. Lastly, let's look at this line. Well, I'm going to draw a table and extract our results again. From here, you can see I've got the coordinates 2, 2. Here, I have the coordinates 0, 1. And lastly, I have the coordinates minus 2, 0. From this, we're going to use our knowledge on y equals mx plus c. And from here, let's identify the gradient. Now remember, to find the gradient, it's the difference in y coordinates over the difference in x coordinates. So I'm going to use these two pairs of coordinates. 2 minus the 1 over the 2 minus the 0. So that means my gradient of this red line is 1 half. Now for plus c, it's quite clear that the intercept on the y-axis is 1. So that means the equation of our straight line is y is equal to 0.5x plus 1. Now because the shaded region is below the line, therefore y is less than or equal to 0.5x plus 1. We know it's a solid line, so that's why it's less than or equal to. So, in summary, we've looked at the basics associated with inequalities and how we show this using shaded regions on graphs. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.